Yeah, this pro-life movement is a real fucking problem, of course. Many of us would prefer to call it pro-forced birth, which I think is more appropriate. I think it was uh, Matt Dale Hunt who coined that one. I, well, I don't know. Somebody somebody did, but that's where I heard it. That Matt Dale Hunt is whom I heard it from. So, um, okay, so... Now, the problem is that in Gen X here is the one I'm looking at here and I'm making an example of, but there's so many others um, all over the place, obviously, and uh, they're very uh, dogmatic. Like, uh, just It's their way or no way. What they say goes, and no matter what anybody else says, they're wrong and you know they're murderers, whatever. They're baby killers, whatever. Now, is this showing? No. Uh, to the side here, you can't see it on the screen because I don't do that. Gen X Gen writes in her profile, In the land of progressive unicornia, science is only valuable is... Okay, so this is from God Sad. I don't know. I remember that guy from years ago, but I don't know. Uh, it is if it is consistent with ideological dogma. Unicornia sciences. In the land of progressive unicornia. I don't even know what the fuck that means. Anyway, so never mind that. But uh, I'm not sure what Gen X Gen thinks it is. I don't know. Okay, that was a waste of time. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, no matter what these guys say, uh, their way is the only way and everybody else is wrong. Everybody else is a fucking baby killer. So, uh, yeah, I'll just go through this. Okay. If a parent doesn't want the kid for the love of God, let them abort it. Now I do favor, uh, adoption. However, the problem is that the pregnancy, uh, childbirth still involves pregnancy, which is not fun. The pro the pro force birth movement does not care about the reasons for unplanned or unwanted pregnancy. I don't think they even give a damn about rape. So yeah, this type of inhumane logic, quote unquote, has caused atrocities throughout human history. If a parent doesn't want a kid for the love of God, let them abort it. Okay, so how does that cause atrocities throughout history? Now, many people have explained to the pro-life movement that abortion is only the termination of pregnancy. But the problem is you fuck nuts and, you know, the problem is that you people just do not listen. It's like I say, you're, you're dogmatic. No matter what anybody says, they are wrong. You are not allowed to have an abortion. That's your mentality. Because it offends you. You perceive it as murder. Ideology says so. Because God says so. That's it. That's final. And, um... I've even heard some of you guys... I've even heard uh, the people in the pro-life movement say, Well, it's not your kid. And that's just a stupid fucking remark because, well, it's not yours either. So who the fuck are you? But anyway, I doubt that the thought of preventing pregnancy hasn't even crossed this person's mind. Such emotional immaturity is a tragedy, travesty. I doubt that the thought of preventing pregnancy... What? What? What does that mean? The thought, I doubt that the thought of preventing pregnancy has even cost, crossed this person's mind. What? I don't even know what that means. The thought of preventing pregnancy. Well, I'm pretty sure women who are not intending to, be, to become a mother isn't even thinking about getting pregnant. So... Uh, it's just an empty statement. Such emotional... 
emotional immaturity from the, from the movement that cries about abortion all the time and stoops to whatever lows they can think of to propagandize against abortion and shame the women for getting one, calling it murder. I'm offended. You got an abortion. You hurt my feelings. I don't know. That sounds pretty emotional to me, Jen. Anyway, so this is a response to whoever this is, um, some other random. An egg isn't a living creature till it hatches, fuckface. If a parent doesn't doesn't want the kid for the love of God, let them abort it. They will make shitty parents in the foster system. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well. I'm not sure the foster system is the only option, but I don't know. I mean, if a parent doesn't want their kid for the love of God, let them abort it. Well, the thing is, what Tobesy doesn't understand is they, they perceive abortion as murder. That's the problem. Meanwhile, they don't care or realize or care one or the other or both that pregnancy is a very shitty experience. In fact, I came across a post uh, yesterday. Somebody said that uh, pregnancy is actually beautiful when the opposite of that is actually the reality of the situation. Certainly not something I would want to go through. Okay. Even the most effective ways to prevent pregnancies like vasectomies or tubal litigation Ligation, I don't even know what that is. They're not even 100% yeah, condoms, yeah. So, well, that's another thing with the most people in the pro life is, or pro force birth, pro force birth is that uh, they want to, for, um, I guess, forbid people who are low finances to from having sex. So they're actually a fascist in that manner. But anyway, Gen X says, uh, all pathetic excuses move along. Now I did respond to some of these, but uh, I don't want to bother. Uh, two replies to that, and I'm gonna, one of them is mine, so fuck it. Parent is pro-birth pro relationship. Kid is a born child, no kids are aborted. Yeah, they don't listen to that. That's the, that's the problem I have with these pro-choice people. They just argue and argue. They don't try to cut through the bullshit. They don't question them. I mean, she just said all pathetic, uh, Jen said, just said all pathetic excuses move along. She doesn't care. They don't, none of them do. If, if you are not allowed an abortion and that's fucking fine because we said so. That's the mentality going on with the pro-life movement. For some reason, they just can't figure this out. I did years ago. Which is why I don't argue, I don't bother with facts, but people don't want to follow my suit. They just want to keep arguing facts, knowing that they're not going to listen. <laughs> Technically, I am pro-life because I understand, I agree that abortion is disgusting and, you know, but nobody's saying it is. N nobody's saying it's great. Nobody wants, really actually wants an abortion. They do that because it's the only way to them. Because why Why should they even have to put up with the, with the pregnancy? You want to put up with the pregnancy? That's your business. But again, none of you guys listen. When, uh, when the pro-choice pro people explain to you that abortion is the termination of the pregnancy, not murder. But you won't listen to that. Valuing self over others is the epitome of emotional. What are you guys doing? Crying about abortion all the time. That's the whole. That's what this whole movement is about. And how long has this been going on for decades now? How long has the pro-life movement been been in effect? Self-projection here. You're the one being emotional and immature about this. I got pregnant once. For from rape, but okay. Rape accounts for less than 3% of yearly abortions. 
So I guess Danny didn't get pregnant then because 3% of yearly abortions. Now you can't possibly have been, no, Danny couldn't have possibly been raped because rape, rape is only less than 3%. <laughs> what the fuck? See, that's this right here. You want to talk about epitome of emotional immaturity. This is the epitome of I'm not listening. I'm willfully ignorant because. Shit. Mr. Egg isn't a living creature until it hatches. Hasn't ever. I don't even know what this means. I read this earlier. Yeah. Well, I read a lot of them earlier, but. You don't own other people as the end of an argument. Yeah. I agree. Who said that though? I don't know. <laughs> Women aren't pregnant with themselves. Well, yeah. That's why I already broke that down. Why do you think unwanted kids should exist? <sighs> yeah. Well, that's not. Well, as I've said, um, I've said a few times, but I'm a nobody, so nobody's heard it. Um, Basically, the pro I mean, my question is, what if uh, pregn unwanted pregnancies were a rarity? That would probably mean that there would be, uh, how do I put this, less generations, fewer generations. There would be empty, empty gaps in a generational chain or whatever. That would mean a lot of people, a lot of kids aren't being born. I wonder how the pro-life would feel about that. Maybe if uh, women, well, couples are more responsible, I guess. More educated, psychologically um, sound. Whatever. Better educated, yeah. What would the pro-life movement say about that? If people aren't having kids because they know better or they're more psychologically I don't need well I think they yeah I think that's yeah they should exist because they are human what the fuck so well I've already responded to this do you advocate for intentionally killing all people you don't want <laughs> what the fuck such an invalid question But that's all these. But that's basically all these pro-life people are capable of. Stupid fucking remarks and invalid questions. They should exist because they are human. What? Who is saying? What? A fucking straw man. Really? Do you advocate for intentionally killing all people you don't? What? I understand what, uh, why the basis of this question, but um, the thing is, all the people in the family was she pregnant? Is uh, how do I put this? Okay, so I guess this is a response to Chris. So assuming Chris is a female. Are you saying, are you, Jen, are you saying, are you suggesting that Chris gave birth to everyone in her family? Uh, because, I mean, all you have to do with people who are already born is just to cut them out of your life. Meanwhile, pregnancy is something that, how do I put this, it's so fucking stupid. Okay, when a woman doesn't want a kid, but becomes pregnant anyway, that means it's, that means the pregnancy isn't. I, I mean, so they should have kids no matter what. Everybody should just have as many kids as they can. Is that what your mentality is, Jen? What? 
I stand by my statement. Not everyone has the facilities to care for a child. Yeah, so. People that don't want children should prevent pregnancy. Um, valuing sexual gratification. Or, no, what the fuck? Who is valuing sexual gratification over human life? Another fucking straw man. That's all these people are capable of. But again, my criticism of the pro... Yeah, the pro-choice people is that they only argue with facts or, you know, well, they argue. They never question. Both sides bother me. I'm still stuck on the first sentence. An egg isn't the living creature until it hatches. Well, ask. That's another problem with the pro-life. They don't ask questions. You don't understand the statement? Ask, um, who was it? Uh, Tobzi about that. How do you think it cracks through the eggshell magic? What the fuck does that mean? I don't understand that. Uh, Jen, I don't think you're the one in any position to criticize or, well, this is an insult. Well, maybe if it, maybe even if it is a moronic statement, it's, you're still in no position to criticize it, because you said nothing. What's your solution? I don't even know what the hell that is. Okay, um, for starters, stop dehumanizing zygotes, embryos. Who is dehum? All you're doing is strawmanning people, and you know it. You know you're being disingenuous you know you're being a loser here pure dogmatism going on here they disagree with you so they're wrong no matter what they say you know you know you have nothing the nihilism and despair is rank among pro-abortion another straw man they're not pro-abortion they're pro-choice but you won't hear that they're pro-abortion because pro-life says they are to them no one has ever had an unplanned pregnancy and changed for the better so nobody is saying that never happens what to them, no one has ever had them. So, these these women who don't want children, their lives will also be... They, what? So, everybody with an unplanned pregnancy will have their life changed for the better? Really? Is that what you're trying to say here? Am... Whatever this is. The f Am Lynn Road? Huh? Amlin Road. Oh, baptized in the name of Christ. Big fucking surprise right there. Okay, since I... Well... Okay, check this out, Amlin, if you ever see this. Uh, actually, uh... How is life a gift if we're all born, with, born sinners and God created us to live in his, for his will? Or suffer forever? That sounds more, yeah. How is life a gift if we're all born sinners and God created us to live for his will or suffer eternally? The nihilism, this common sense. These guys, the Christians always, such arrogance and just, you know, they think the, so highly of themselves. But yet, you know, they say nihilism and despair, yet they're the ones that say we're nothing without Jesus Christ. <laughs> no one has ever... Yeah, so... Basically... You know... According to this person... Uh, unplanned pregnancy always improves a woman's life. Or a couple's life. Then no... No, unplanned pregnancies never ruin anything. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. 
Nope, it's all life will suck for the parents forever. No, 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 no. That's not what they say. Strawman, strawman, strawman. Everyone would choose birth control over abortion. It's cheaper and it's less painful and you don't have to walk past. Now, uh, somebody in that, somebody up there said birth control isn't 100% effective. So, maybe a lot of them do. Oh, that's still their fault, right? Because, you know, they didn't try to prevent it. Well, they did. It says that birth control failed. No, it's still their fault. Because pro-life. Because God. You don't have to walk a pet. I allow judge, judgy people who want to talk about demons. The problem is that Republicans continually. Okay, so. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck it. Oh, so suddenly, uh, you know, she can talk all the dogmas she wants, all the straw mans, but everybody else is obligated to cite the legislation. And everybody else is to provide, not her. She can say whatever the f oh, fuck, hypocrite. I can't, I just can't live with this hypocrisy. There's absolutely no human life. We protect it to this. What? Anyway. Wow, 23 minutes.